Does your business need a blog? In today's video, we're going to talk about five reasons you should consider building a blog for your business. Let's get at it. Today more than ever, your website needs to be an interactive platform that connects with your customers and provides them with valuable information. Content marketing has become one of the most effective ways to attract and retain customers. And this is where blogging comes in. Uh, some people have said that blogging is dead. It's an old art form. We've been doing it for a long time, but it still has the power to attract and generate leads for your business. So let's take a look at the five reasons you really should be considering having a blog for your business. Reason number one why we should have a business blog is improved search engine optimization or SEO. Now, if you have a website on the internet, obviously you want to be found by people that are searching for the types of products and services that you provide. In order to be found, you have to show up for certain keywords. So keywords are the words that people type in when they wanna try and find something on the internet. So if we're talking about content marketing, if somebody types in, how do I start a blog and start content marketing? Well, we wanna be found when they start typing in those kinds of questions. So in order to do that, we need content that is keyword rich, meaning we're gonna take the keywords that we think or we know that people type in to find our product or service and we're gonna build content around it. And a blog is a great way to do that because we can talk about certain topics in many different ways and different aspects and show your expertise in that niche for those keywords. So search engine optimization, SEO is a huge reason why we wanna blog. Number two, it's gonna build your brand and your authority. So authority is really important also in search. So if Google decides that you are a key player in your niche, an expert in your niche, it's going to help boost your SEO. You're gonna show up higher in search. It also uh, tells people that you are an authority. You are an expert in whatever your industry or niche is. You can demonstrate that through the content that you create on your blog. Number three, it's gonna boost your social media presence. So social media and your website should kinda of go hand in hand. And I always think of our website or our, and, and a blog as kinda of the central hub of our business online. And the spokes leading off that hub are our social media platforms, uh, maybe it's other websites, industry websites, any place that we can get people linking back to our hub, to our website or blog, is going to help us build that authority and improve our SEO. So the two go hand in hand. And when we create blog content, we've got then informative, valuable content that we can share on social media. Rather than just sharing pictures or quotes, which you know people love those things, but if you want people to find your business, then you wanna give them a reason to click on something so that they can read an article or a blog post or watch a video that you've created that's going to give them valuable information about whatever it is you do for a product or service. So it's really going to help boost your social media and your social media will help boost your website. When, when you start sharing on social media, the idea is to get others to share your content as well with their networks. And that's how you can grow exponentially and get more traffic back to your site with a blog. Number four, it's gonna attract new leads. So we obviously want to pull new people in to our online uh, presence so that we can get our product, service, and our content in front of them. So having a blog allows us to let people find us that otherwise didn't know uh, about us. We can educate them, we can inform them, and we can engage with them using the high value content that we create in a blog. And this is a great way to nurture leads, get people to know, like, and trust you. And once they do that, that's obviously when we can start making some sales. All right, number five is it encourages engagement and feedback. So what we want people to do is we want people to engage with our brand. When people start engaging, that's when you know you're, you're really making an impact with your online presence. 
You know, when people come and they just kind of skim through your stuff, it's not as impactful as when they actually engage, when they leave a comment on a post or when they share your blog on their social, or maybe they share it with a colleague or their team or, or, you know, other industry people. So it's, it's important to get that engagement and feedback. And, and to be honest, there are, you know, you're going to have opinions that you put out there in a blog that maybe other people aren't going to agree with, but they're your opinions. They're your value, uh, your values. So having them even disagree with you and get into obviously civil uh, discussions about things is a good thing because that shows Google and the search engines that you're relevant and that you're speaking about things that others want to talk about too. So that engagement and feedback can be really, really important uh, side effect of having a blog. All right, so I hope these five reasons have kind of opened your eyes to why you should uh, consider having a blog. Blogging is not dead. It is still a great way to promote your business online and grow your presence with your website. So don't be afraid. Get out there, start creating content right now. If you have questions, you don't know where to start, uh, click the link below and you can uh, schedule a free consultation. We can talk about your business and how a blog might help you grow online. All right, if you, if you found this valuable, please like, comment, and share. Until next time, bye-bye.